Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1970 to listen to Glad and Freedom Rider by The Amazing Traffic. Glad to have Traffic back on my channel. It's been a long time. These two come from the album John Barley Corn Must Die, their fourth studio album and highest charting album in the U.S. It's progressive rock and jazz fusion. Nice. Uh, this was also a comeback slash reunion album for Traffic. So excited to get into it. I see there's no guitars apparently. That's really interesting. I think I'm going to love it. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. Vintage sounding. Percussion, I hear you. Talking.
finally a break. Great melody there. Perfect tone as well. the organs on this side. Hmm. It's like I'm swimming through the music. Great percussion. Ooh. sax melody. Tiny hints of great gig in the sky.
excellent flute melodies. What a treat. Who needs caffeine when you have traffic? Two incredible songs. An incredible start to this album. Wow. And we're way back in 1970. So cool. So we'll start with Glad. Very jazzy, bluesy, so lively, so fun. So much happening musically, of course. And just overall, so very infectious. Definitely a multi-purpose song. Uh, you know, something you can lay back and chill to, a song that you can dance to and really get into it, kind of like what I was doing. Uh, you could have it, you know, as background at a party, a retro party, uh, fun to experience live. I'm sure there's a live version of this out there. Hopefully they used to perform it. Again, barely know anything about traffic or their touring history, their live show history. Um, but anyway, just an amazing introduction. So vintage, so retro. Of course, it's so 70s sounding with touches of the 60s. We're at the turn of the decade here and just so much musically happening, so much for me to enjoy. I'm sure it was the same with their last reaction that I did. Uh, but the last third of the song, my favorite by a clear mile with all that lush, wavy music. I felt like I was literally swimming through music. It was an amazing experience for my brain, my ears, my heart and my soul. Of course, so much was happening. I know I missed a lot, but that's what subsequent listens are for. But in this lengthy section, it featured this beautiful piano. Of course, there was piano throughout, but I don't know if they changed the tone or the actual piano, but it sounded amazing in that last third. Combine that with a beautiful organ washing all over me, uh, some beautiful, interesting percussion, and you have a perfect trio there for me to love, me to enjoy, me to get lost in. Wow, such a strong start to this album. And then we get to Freedom Rider, and that continues. It actually gets even better for me. 
I absolutely love Freedom Rider. Didn't take many notes, but it's quite a long song at over five minutes, so I guess I was just lost in it and loving it. Both of them flew by, honestly, but we start off with this nice and unexpected sax melody. Really cool. Didn't expect the sax to show up first. Uh, the sax melody also came you know, later on in the song in the interludes. Just love that. Uh, just so much generous use of these instruments, like that delicious organ. Just like in the first song, it's prominent here. It's in the background, and it's so sleek sounding. Kind of hard to describe. I was trying to think of an adjective. Just sleek, delicious as some of you say, and beautiful overall. So thank you so much, Steve, for all that excellent organ work in both songs. Wow, must bow down to you. His vocals were also excellent here. I think they were in a short part of the song. The majority was instrumental, but love them. He went high into the stratosphere at one point. Surely it's the highest I've ever heard him. He sounded great. And we also get plenty of beautiful flute in this song. At times it was so light and breezy. Other times, you know, fully, highly energetic. Uh, just excellent playing overall. Excellent flute melodies here. So thank you so much to Chris Wood for that amazing work. Really love the chorus. Of course, it's super simple, easy to remember because it's only two words, Freedom Rider. But I love the melody there. You know, Freedom Rider, they ended on a note. And then on Rider, they went down again and down one more time. Really interesting, really creative. They could have just stayed on the note, but nope, they added more. They went the extra mile. And by the end, they just give us this grand finale, this musical explosion overload of sonic goodness clearly i was lost at that point but i was still loving it trying to catch on to things and then literally they take us descending down back to reality really love that musical choice as well ah wow what a treat you can see how much these two energized me without caffeine what a treat both songs were but this one was an absolute gem to my ears all right, so two excellent songs. I'm guessing the rest of this album is excellent, and I'm sure their future work is as well, and their past work, but that's in the 60s. Anyways, I'm giving Glad the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, completely deserving. So much sonic brilliance, so much artistic mastery here going on in the delivery. And I'm giving Freedom Rider the Double Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, I totally loved it totally connected with it, right up my musical alley. Just so uh, enriching, fulfilling, rewarding musically. Both these amazing songs by Traffic from 1970. So thank you so much, Steve Winwood, Jim Capaldi, and Chris Wood. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these two songs, I would love to know what you think about them. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past. Oh, 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 oh.